Okay guys, so we just built this uh, electron configuration for an atom that we um, uh, took off the periodic table. Which one is this uh, electron configuration for? Aluminum. Aluminum, right? And how do I know that? It's because, you know, I can count the number of electrons here, or I can look at the 3P and say there's one electron in it, so I can look up there and see that aluminum has that electron configuration, right? So this is aluminum. So if I wanted to, I could ask myself, well, where are the inner electrons located and where are the valence electrons located? So if I wanted to draw a line in between where the inner electrons are located and the valence electrons, remember the valence electrons are in their own valence shell, okay? So a shell is designated by that number that we talked about, the principal energy level, okay? So if I wanted to discuss where the valence ones were, where would I put the line? Between 3S and 2P. Yeah, so between the 3S and the 2P, right? Because the 3s, that's the next energy level up, the valence the energy level. Does that make sense? So let's just draw a line there. So these are the valence electrons. And these down here, what do we call them? The inner. Yeah, the inner electrons. So, remember, we called anything that has the same energy level, right? we just called it something, do you guys remember what we called it? A shell, yeah. So, this boxed groups of electrons, these two, 2s and 2p, or the four orbitals there, that in, inclusively is called a shell of um, electrons, okay? This is an electron shell. Okay, so there are um, portions of that shell, as you guys well know. So there's the 2s and the 2p portions. Okay, so if we wanted to box those off, that would be a subshell. Okay. So we already learned this, but it, and so I want you to help me out. If I just box one of these things that carries two, is able to carry two electrons, what would I call that thing? An orbital, right? That's an orbital. And what's that thing that's inside of an orbital? Yeah, that's an electron. Okay, so you guys should be able to distinguish these different portions of the electron diagram. Any questions on this stuff? Okay, good.